Okay, yeah, we're, we're a community that loves God and loves others fearlessly, and uh, I think we're doing a really good job, and it's such a privilege to be a part of this body. So I am super excited for today. Today is one of our final Job sermons. Pastor Tracy's going to be preaching on God's response to Job. I'm really excited. I've been excited all week. I've been waiting with anticipation. So if you can check your bulletins, if you don't have a bulletin, raise your hand. One of our ushers will rush over to you and tend to your bulletin needs. Anybody not have a bulletin? San Sandy doesn't have a bulletin. So today we also have some special announcements. There's lots going on, but on July 7th, that's in two Sundays, we have our annual block party with Providence Church. Give it up for the block party. If you've been there, it was awesome. <laughs> Food, drink, all the good stuff. That's super fun. Also, if you can help us before and after, we'd love to have you uh, stay and clean up or come early. VBS, any kids in the house love VBS? Oh yeah, or, or moms and dads who love the uh, week off from their kids. So VBS is going to be July 8th through 12th. Don't forget to register your kids with the kids ministry, Kingdom Kids. Also, this Tuesday, June 25th, we've got worship nights. Super exciting. I can't wait for that. Joni Miller herself is in the house, is going to be leading us through that. Come for a great night of worship, all worship. It's so great. Invite you, come as you are, wear your pajamas, whatever you need to do to get here. So um, on that note, I'm going to turn it over to Pastor Tracy Saletta. Let's all stand for the call to worship. So I'm going to give a little bit of a strange call to worship this morning. I read this, and it's called Life is a Verb by Patty Digg, D-I-G-H. And, you know, it, well, I'll just read it, and then I'll talk. So it says this. When she was a high school music and drama teacher, this woman experienced for herself the power of being a witness, noticing that when her attention wavered during rehearsals, something went wrong. The energy became lax, muffled, attenuated, an edge of fear crept in, and the courageous spontaneity was lost. I suddenly understood, hear this, that perceiver and perceived were one. Quantum physics tells us that the presence, watching an experiment, changes the experiment. The act of observing affects what is observed. What an awesome responsibility, Woodman gently noted. How are we changing the people around us by how we respond to them or we don't? There's a verse in Matthew, I'm sorry, in Luke 8.18, that God says, be careful how you listen. And I always wondered, what does that even mean? Be careful how you listen. How do we hold presence for others? How do we hold love for others with no agenda? Who was able to hold presence for us as children without asking us to perform to their standards? Who really saw us and heard us and didn't ask for something in return? When we come together, it's not just about me standing up talking. It's not just about the worship team worshiping. How you all listen adds into the energy and the beauty of what happens on these days. We're all apart. And there are days that I have talked about this after we've gotten done with the worship service, and I'm like, you know, the congregation was just very low today. And I was thinking as I was reading this that it's like code word for the conversation was not listening. They did not bring presence. It's all of us coming together as a community and worshiping together. It's not one of us holding, holding like they're pontificating words, but it's all of us in presence coming into this room and saying, I am about hearing God together. We so believe in this community and hearing God in community. So it requires all of us to enter in and to listen. So those who are listening are as important 
as those who are speaking or worshiping. Because it's together that we join as the body of Christ and worship God together. So Lord, we acknowledge that listening and the gift of presence is as important as words coming out of anybody's mouth. We make the decision in this moment to fully engage, to fully listen, not just to one another, but to you. We give you our ear, we give you our mind, we give you our heart, we give our full attention to you this morning. And again, in Luke 8:18, when God says, be careful how you listen, I believe he's saying, give your presence to the moment. Give your full ear and join in in the moment in what God wants to do this morning. So with that in our hearts, let's worship together, body and church. Let's worship.
beautiful Life is wonderful God, you are the wonder Life is beautiful You are the color Life is wonderful crying out God my soul rejoices even when my life feels out of control God my soul rejoices even when I'm lost in the storm because you find me and when I see you you're just there you're waiting with open arms you're there God, I just pray you give us the strength this morning and the wisdom to let go. Just let ourselves go into your arms this morning. Let us go, let's go, let's let go of fear and hopelessness, any bitterness or unforgiveness or any weight that might be holding us down. Anything that's binding us, God, we let go in the name of Jesus this morning. God, we want to dance, we want to sing. God, we can only do that if you give us joy. God, you are our hope. God, you can make me new. God, you make us new.
God is about healing. God is about building our ruins. God is about building back and creating new. God is about making something out of nothing. And that verse that talks about, be careful how you listen, before that, it's talking about a light can't be put under a bushel. And it says, it's about the light that needs to shine. And it talks about things that are hidden will be brought to that light. And then he goes, be careful how you listen. And I really believe we are surrounded by God's presence right now. 
We are surrounded by that light right now. And I believe that be careful how you listen to saying, do you see it? Grab a hold of it. Be careful how you listen is saying, grab a hold of my healing for your life. Be careful how you listen is saying, follow me because I bring you life and wholeness and I will restore the broken places. He is the restorer of broken places. So as we continue singing this song, don't just sing the song, listen to the song and bring it into yourself and breathe it into, into yourself.
All that. 
today. If you need a new start today, here's the beauty. Just open up. Open up your heart. Open up your arms. Lord, make me new today. I need new. The beautiful thing about God is we can screw up so bad. And then we go, Lord, help. And he goes, I got you, honey. I got you. I'm going to rescue you. I have you. All we got to do is say, yes, I need it. I need to be made new every day of my life. If this is you, just open up your heart. Open up your arms. And let's just sing this one more time. You make me new, Dave. Not the whole song, just that. Go ahead and sing it. I heard you. Internalize that. Or where you're at. You're being made new. I'm going to ask for the service to come and join me. And as we continue to sing that phrase, I'm reminded of some of the words that are at the beginning of the song that says that God makes beautiful things out of dust. Out of the little lint of the ground. Now you can think of that phrase in one of two ways. Because the Bible also says that we were made from the dust of the ground. And that that was beautiful. The second way you can look at it is, if he can make fantastic, beautiful things out of dust, what can he make out of you? Meditate on that for just a little while. And so these are not just idle words of he's making beautiful things out of us. It is for you to know to know, to meditate on when you're going through tough spots. We're moving into our worship of tithes and offering. So we ask that you prepare yourselves. Those of you that are writing out a check, make it out to Cornerstone Christian Fellowship. If you are giving online, there are instructions on your screen. And if you're giving through our app, we thank you for that as well. I'm going to ask my sister to pray over the offering as we prepare. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time to give. We pray that this and bless the hearts that are preparing to give. Let this offering be an overflow for all the needs that are met for the house today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you for your sacrifice.
me.